we don't want old sick leaders. Hmm. The political transfer season, like football, is open. And as expected, many names and faces are popping up. There's realigning of interest and highly irrelevant lots, who I call the lepers of politics, are stepping into the game. They have one goal, cause chaos, rancor, and heightened uncertainties. They know they cannot win an election, even in their homes, their villages. But they are determined to make themselves relevant by saying whatever comes to mind. Very soon, social media will be agog with photo ops of politicians buying akara beans and bread by the roadside, even buns. Parties are looking for the strongest yet vulnerable link in other parties who they can poach. Politicians have started discrediting themselves, and by July, full-scale tribal and religious affronts will have kicked in. Politicians amongst themselves know who the next favorite or most qualified candidate is. Yet, they do all this just to remain relevant and earn a sit-down peace talk, which will lead to a political appointment after elections 2023. In all this, all you see are politicians attempting to make a way where there has been no way. Politicians put their best foot forward swimming against the tides. Where are, where are the citizens who are affected by the decisions of these politicians? We do not appear anywhere. We wait for the most emotionally relevant news, reports and lash on it. We walk around town accusing every politician, yet we are not ready to recommend a politician of choice, neither are we willing to join a party. Until December, the song on our lips was direct primaries, direct primaries. A call that made politicians laugh because for direct primaries to be effective, you need to join a party. And as you already know, we're unwilling to join any party. They are all evil. The people have the right to demand for a particular candidate. But we are silent on this. We prefer to ridicule every single candidate that is presented. Politicians have a plan for 2023. They fight now and decamp by November. We, the people, do we have a plan? We're comfortable following the same politicians that we call corrupt, insincere, and tribal bigots. We're comfortable in our one corner, one corner, saying, you know, go better for this country. <laughs> when in reality, what we are saying is, you know, go better for you and I, the individuals in it. Nigerians succeed in business because we understand that the outcome of every business endeavor has a direct effect on us. If only we understand that the outcome of any political activity has a bigger direct impact on us we would be more participatory in elections. For 2023, we need to study and understand politics. Join a party, get your PVC, look beyond tribe and religion, call out your family member and tribesman that is working against the nation. The more disunited you are, the weaker you are. The weaker you are, the stronger the politicians become. You shout, you don't want old Sikh leaders, yet our weakness is equivalent to the weakness of the Sikh leaders we are calling out. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. God bless the people of Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I think uh, hmm, that, 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 I'm actually trying to think of what I know what to say. <laughs> and my mind is Digested going to it. My, my, yes, my mind is going to the fact that what you're saying directly actually links to what I was trying to get at, even exactly. though I started from a point of motivation or inspiration. Yes. Or like yes. for me, I'm maybe because I'm a lawyer, I'm so detailed about breaking it down. Mm. I hate for people to tell me, oh yeah, get up and do something. I want to tell me, please, getting up means you get you lift yourself. Yeah. Up. So I do a systemic break mm -hmm. it down. Now, how do we as a people follow these instructions? Plan it, get our PVC, when we don't even know exactly what we want to be. When we're bowed down with thoughts of a person is helplessly helpless. <laughs> no, that's the way we are. Yeah. No, we try not to take a jab, but the mm -hmm. truth is that a lot of us really feel 
helpless we too about so we're too broken to see we're the things the, that what do I, the number one was change your mindset if we're going to actually be functional mm. effective or create any change politically or otherwise we have got to be resilient and strong L Lenny, that's what the politicians know there's a strategy it. to the madness every politician that is doing something and succeeding i admire their guts i yeah, admire the drive i sit and i look at i tell myself that even if you are if you do anything successfully good or bad mm -hmm. it takes a lot and so maybe that is something that yeah. we and as citizens need, need to, to adopt and, and see, what, see. You, what you're saying about the politician i also program on radio and behind the scenes talks are very detailed there are things that you, you should record and play now one of the politicians told me something he said listen nigerians never suffer that's it he said because until we get to a stage where it is unbearable things will not change you know why he said because right now he, as a person, sees people who are qualified citizens and is encouraging them to come into the fold so he can help people like us who want to make an impact. And they tell you, no, I don't have interest in politics. He said it's because they still have something to eat. Mm -hmm. when, it become, when it hits so hard that you know you don't have a choice, you will know that you need to get into politics for you to survive. And you see, we th there is so much, again, like you're saying, I blame those that call themselves the elites, not necessarily because of their status, but uh, how enlightened they are. Because you see, we, we mislead the general public, the people under the bridge, like, uh, you, you, like you rightly said. Why do I say that? Now, there's this talk about constitution, throw the constitution away. But the truth of the matter is that the constitution cannot be thrown away. What you do generally, globally, is to amend. Mm -hmm. You can get into parliament and decide that A, B, C, D, E, F, G, we don't want it. Mm. And that is what you call the people having a say mm. in the constitution. Right now, constitution amendment is ongoing. Mm. Nobody is talking about it. True. No single person. Then we come back in 2024, because for, from now to 2023, forget anything about removing the constitution. Nobody is going to talk about that. We come back to 2024 and we start shouting. Whoever is, of course, Buhari won't be there. The next person again know? will be victim. He, he can't be a third <laughs> time. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> know. You know? Then we go back to the same balance. He has to go. Constitution, throw it away. That's it. I mean, <laughs> I'm just processing everything everyone is saying. And in my head... One thought that just comes to my mind is the fact that we've lied to ourselves a lot. Mm. Yes. So, True. Um, True. There was that misconception in the past that I can live without politics. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can do well without being there. Yeah. I, I don't need a politician. Especially mm. if you are if you are relatively middle stable mm. or you're middle class, you are like, okay, I'm good. I don't mm. need politics. Well, I think in the past years, we've come to understand that the politicians matter a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the quality of people that are brought forward... Um, to the presidential um, elections, gov gubernatorial, senatorial, all yeah. of those mm -hmm. categories of people. They matter a lot. Yeah. Uh, I was having this conversation with someone the other time. You realize that um, the people that eventually rise up to say they want to become um, a candidate for whatever party or whatever position are people that have been in this game for a long time. Yeah. Very true. Mm -hmm. And they probably started as dropouts. In fact, if you look mm -hmm. at it, look at the trend. They're mostly That's dropouts. True. And I, and because our constitution allows that with a high school certificate i can i can context for any election so it means that they actually or they just need to prove that they went to a secondary school they don't necessarily have the mental strength the mental capacity to actually lead a country or lead a zone or mm. lead a community but because there's that room for it and we the people that are quote unquote educated yeah, enlightened so. we've given them that room We've succeeded in business, like you mentioned, mm. but we've not succeeded in politics. Mm. We've left politics to people that really don't have mm. the capacity. If you bring these people to business, they're going to run down the business. We know that. So we don't even employ them as um, um, entry staff, level. Yeah. We don't even make them entry level. They don't qualify. Mm. So, and we know that because they cannot, um, they cannot, mm. they cannot process, process uh, the kind of things, mm. thoughts, and knowledge that is mm. required to build a business. So why then have we left them to run our country? But before I come in, the irony of this is that you'll be shocked. Look at, okay, let's take it. Um, Edo State Governor is a successful businessman. Thank in you. Ogun State. Um, no, um, not, what is his name? Makinwa. Makinwa. Uh, no. Um, Even my mom. A lot of the governors. All of them. A lot successful of them are people. successful yeah. businessmen, yes. former MBA, uh, yes, former MBA lawyer, yes. and all, yes. um, chief, whatever, MBA, MBA Nigerian Association, and all those people. Hmm. Yet they get there. 
and everything is messed up. Look at the people because around they them. Exactly. They don't have the team. Look at people around and, them. And you, you and I, exactly. who should be the team? We are busy in tech and we are busy there saying, no, this government is useless. And exactly. we've been saying that for years. That's what I was saying. We've been saying the same thing for years. So it's not about one party. Because or it's, 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 it doesn't, the yeah. system that we've created. And it doesn't, sorry, before you add, Victor, <laughs> it doesn't take one person exactly. to build yeah. the yeah. country yeah. that we want. Yeah. We that's need it. more than, and we need to stop this our Messiah mentality yeah. that's so, it. so yeah. we can build a better country. Mm. 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 You know, I mean, I was just here thinking of a counter job to throw at him. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I could see that. <laughs> but, but the truth is, uh, this is my personal musings, right? Yeah. Random stuff. I, I just feel so sad that it's almost like we're letting nature take its course. Hmm. In the next two decades, hmm. or even less than that, some of these old guys will be gone. Will be gone. That's true. By virtue of decades, life, they're, they're going to die. I mean, you're going to die. This year, That's right? True. So yeah. it's almost like we are watching exactly. waiting for that to happen for me to before we take i told someone that buhari plan cool lots of people did all of this you know they seized power and i'm not saying go we'll do that i'm just yeah, saying yeah. that you need to be you know, active what are we doing beyond tweeting exactly. and all of that they are even using us as a strategy to tweet <laughs> so i think it's it's saddening to me that we're all just intellectually just, talking yeah well, we're just going to wait for another yeah. 10 years where if they Thank die you. off, then we're going to take over. Nobody wants to take that are lead. Doing? Nobody wants to take that lead. But, 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 but I think we're scared because Victor, blood has to go on Victor, the line for that. But you see, beyond blood, what is happening, I think, here is this. I think that we do not realize that we had a systemic in brain failure. Mm, you see, for point. 20 years, among, let's look at from when we were in primary school and secondary school. We had a period of time, so all those in their 40s and 50s now, went through a system of education that gave them academic skills, but actually did not give them enough thinking yeah. skills, planning skills, life skills, mm. to be able to say, okay, where are you going to? Yeah. We naturally went through school and system of life in Nigeria, and maybe the most of Africa say, go to school, get an education, get a job. And, and, so now and, we're not taught how to fight for life, mm. how to fight for things. No, the see, last fight in Nigeria was independence. No, 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 no. I'm I mean, Biafra. We, we could go on and on on the fight. But if you want to do Nadeko, no, that, 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 <laughs> that's oh, that's a little to what You know, if you want to go through the Nadeko era of the late 80s and 90s and 90s and stuff then you know what it means to fight but root is next <laughs> stay with us <laughs>